What are the odds that someone can break out of prison? Not much, right? So what are the chances of breaking out of a maximum security prison for a second time and staying hidden from the law for over a decade? Now, that is almost impossible, isn't it? Today, we will tell you a mind-boggling story of an infamous yet legendary career criminal and a drug lord who almost got away without a scratch. Well, almost. Let's start with the basics. El Chapo's real name is Joaquin Guzman. So why is he famous as El Chapo? Well, it means shorty, and being five foot six inches short, he became Mr. Shorty. But make no mistakes, he is short only in his height. The man almost touched the sky with everything else, especially with money. Now that we know how the guy got his name, we must definitely find out why he is so attracted to prisons, or why the prisons are attracted to him. Anyone will tell you that drug lords are a force to reckon with, but El Chapo was one of a kind. At the peak of his power, he was one of the richest men in the world, with an estimated net worth of more than $3 billion. Forbes magazine even listed him as one of the most powerful people in the world for four consecutive years. Apart from his immense power and wealth, El Chapo has several historic world records under his belt, and seemingly those records will remain unbeaten for many years. He is known as the man, or rather the trafficker, who exported the largest amount of drugs to the USA in history. Not even the richest drug lord in history, Pablo Escobar, comes close. Not only was El Chapo beloved by prison correctional officers, but he is also one of the very few drug lords in history to have a hefty price tag. US and Mexican governments were willing to offer almost $9 million for any information leading to El Chapo's capture. For Pablo Escobar, it was only about $3 million. Now that you know about El Chapo and his misadventures, let's take a look at his prison escapades. El Chapo, no matter how awesome he was at running away from the law, got captured early in 1993. The 1990s was a messy and bloody period for Mexicans and were a very busy time for Mexican police. Drug cartels were in a brutal war with each other and El Chapo's cartel, the Sinaloa cartel, got involved in a series of bloody massacres that even led to the death of a prominent cardinal in Mexico. El Chapo left Mexico and took refuge in a secret safe house in Guatemala. The event led to a large-scale crackdown by the Mexican government, and in 1993, the Guatemalan army arrested him and extradited El Chapo back to Mexico. And there, he was locked up in a maximum security prison called La Palma. You thought that he had a tough time in there and paid for his sins now, didn't you? Wrong. And many people, especially Mexicans and Americans, thought like that at the time. And oh boy, were they in for a big surprise. El Chapo had an amazing time in that maximum security prison. As it turned out, his enormous wealth could even turn a maximum security prison into a maximum luxury prison. El Chapo bribed, paid off, and bought all the officials in La Palma, and the corruption ran deep. It is said that he even bought the federal and state officials. Well, have you ever heard the saying that everyone has a price, all you need to know is how and when to pay it? No, you probably haven't, because I just made it up right now. But that's true in El Chapo's case. He knew exactly who to buy, how to buy, and when to buy at what price. From 1993 to 2001, El Chapo hosted parties, had fun, had the amenities and luxuries of a seven-star hotel in the so-called maximum security prison. Many officials became rich because of him. And although everyone thought that his drug cartel was done for, he was running his business as usual from there. Would you believe me if I said that he even expanded it? Because he did. However, El Chapo's home sweet home time I mean, jail sweet jail time, came to an abrupt end when the Supreme Court of Mexico passed a ruling for the extradition of drug lords like El Chapo to the USA. Extradition to a jail in the USA is the worst nightmare for a criminal, especially for a drug lord that runs a multi-billion dollar drug empire. The mere thought of this sent chills down the spine of El Chapo, and he quickly decided to say bye-bye to La Palma. The legend has it that El Chapo escaped the maximum security prison in a laundry cart, he bribed the guards and they kept the prison cell's door open. Then he jumped aboard a laundry cart that was going outside and eventually got into a car and vanished deep into the night. A later investigation found out that more than 78 officials had helped him escape. After that, El Chapo began his operations as early as possible and life was getting good for him, even though he was now on the run and there was a nationwide manhunt for him. Why would he worry? A billionaire with deep enough pockets to buy anyone. However, the situation in Mexico worsened after that. Mexico entered a long and bloody drug war that would span another full decade because El Chapo's Sinaloa cartel was among the primary reasons for this bloody carnage. And since the corruption in the police and political system was now exposed, pressure mounted on the drug authorities to finish this once and for all. 
and after 13 long years, the police were able to apprehend the infamous Shorty yet again in 2014. Now, 13 years on the run is a record for a most wanted drug lord. Even the legendary Pablo Escobar barely managed a year in hiding before being shot and killed. After the arrest, he was imprisoned in another super high security prison named Altiplano Prison, aka the Federal Social Readaptation Center No. 1. Life here was way different, much harder, and no, he couldn't buy anyone this time. He was put in a small room with one shower, one toilet, and a small space to move around. He was not allowed to interact with any other inmate, and he spent 23 hours a day in solitary confinement. He could only go outside for an hour, and even then, he was escorted by guards, and no other sports or entertainment activities were allowed. Apart from that, he was only able to speak with people during court hearings. His prison cell and routine were so bizarre and unfathomable that this prison was designed to break a man completely. But the questions everyone had at this time was, will the prison break El Chapo, or will he break out of the prison this time too? Spoiler alert, he did break out of the seemingly impenetrable maximum security jail too. And this time, his prison break was epic. In 2015, one day, he disappeared from the surveillance cameras. When the guards went looking for him, they couldn't believe what they found. In fact, even you will not believe what I'm about to tell you. He literally had himself an underground tunnel built from the outside into his shower area and escaped through that using motorbikes. A tunnel, motorbikes in the middle of a maximum security prison. What on earth? As it turned out, El Chapo's associates had constructed a tunnel from a construction site to the prison shower area that spanned an unbelievable one mile. It was 5.7 feet tall and 30 inches wide and was fitted with high quality construction material, air ducts, and even lights. According to the officials, only air conditioning was missing from that tunnel. How did he do this? Obviously, he had help from you know where corrupt officials, but until this day, no one knows for sure how he pulled this one off. And it seems like it will remain a mystery, at least for now. Do you believe in second chances? I do, but certainly not El Chapo. Even after his second miraculous prison break, rather than staying away and letting go of his criminal life, he still engaged actively in his drug business. And this was why the law came down on him once again. This time, however, the luck finally seems to have run out on El Chapo. In 2016, after a blockbuster gunfight that can rival any Sylvester Stallone movie, the Mexican army finally apprehended El Chapo. And this time, I'm afraid, he won't be going anywhere. This time, he was extradited straight to the USA, where his new home, well, his new prison, was waiting for him, ADX Florence. Known as the Alcatraz of the Rockies, the ADX Florence was designed specifically to house the most dangerous of all criminals. And since its inception in 1994, no one has ever successfully broken out of there. However, even right now, El Chapo is receiving a lot of attention and special treatments there. Well, not the kind El Chapo expects, though. The design of his prison cell, and even the entire prison, seems like something that came out of a science fiction fantasy. The prison is equipped with next-generation technologies, such as motion detectors, pressure pads, a sophisticated network of cameras, and over 1,400 remote-controlled steel doors to make sure that every move of every inmate won't go unnoticed. The prison cells are designed simply as fortresses. The 7 by 12 foot cells are made by using reinforced concrete and steel. No tunnel digging this time for El Chapo. And there is a small bed made out of concrete, an immovable concrete stool, and a table along with a shower that has a timer. A timer? Well, since the prison is so intimidating that the officials don't want any inmates trying to commit suicide by drowning. So there's a small window in the cell with a view of the sky and the rooftops of other prison cells. Beautiful, don't you agree? The cells are all soundproof to make sure that inmates cannot communicate between themselves using Morse code. In here, there is not a chance for El Chapo to interact with anyone. The funny thing is that at one point after his escape, the Mexican government was so ashamed that they announced they will no longer try to catch him. Had El Chapo just vanished with his massive wealth, chances are that he could have ridden off into the sunset and have tequila in a beach resort with his young girlfriend. And that's the end of it. I'm sure even right now he might be thinking of a way to escape this jail too. After all, he's spending a 30 plus year life sentence. Do you think that he'll be able to pull it off and break out of this one too? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. We'll come back with more exciting stuff soon. Until next time.